In today's video, I would be letting you know what are the monthly expenses in the UK, whether he's an EU student, international student, or a UK student. You will be getting far more clarity on the monthly expenses and money to spend per month basis here in the UK. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Sink and I love to make videos on student life and keep you updated about any briefing from government in the UK regarding student life. It might sound cliche, but please do subscribe to my channel as this really motivates me and moreover this is a new channel, please show as much support as you can as subscribing and liking the video is free of cost. So, so let's begin with the video. In today's video, I will be letting you know about the monthly expenses and I have also included some tricks and savings which you could do in terms of saving money and rent and accommodation. So in this video, for the monthly expenses, I have divided the students into five categories. The five categories depend upon the student's background, their financial condition. So first one being the lucky student, second one the middle class background, third upper middle class background, fourth rich background and fifth the students who are financially tight who have got a fixed monthly budget to come and study in the United Kingdom. And for the expenses, I've divided into four parts. First being rent and accommodation. Second, food and household cost free. Third being the transportation. And fourth, I've included all your other expenses. For example, those mobile plans and etc. So first we will begin with rent and accommodation. For a lucky student, lucky student is the one who is staying with his relatives or families in the UK. So he don't have to pay any rent, so I've put a zero pound figure here for him. And the students from the middle class background, the average basic room here is about 400 to 450 pound in a student accommodation. So here I would like to say you that students who come to UK to study, they've got choice of staying in a student accommodation or in private flats. So the flat rent is quite cheap. So, but in the flat, it would be like you won't be having kind of security and all those facilities. Whereas the student accommodation gives you all the necessary security. So the basic room in such accommodations will be around 400 to 450 pounds. Second, for the upper middle class background, so I've included a figure of 600 pounds. That means that the rooms which they will be opting for will be having more facilities. Such facilities could be like they would be having the kitchen in the same room or the bathroom in the same room. Moreover, their accommodation would be having some extra facilities, for example, having gym in their, gym in their accommodation. Moving on to the fourth category, which is for the students belonging to a rich background. So I don't think so they've got any like fixed budget, they can spend as much money as they want and they would be looking for some luxury accommodations. So the luxury accommodation room would be as well for a price of £900, that's just a basic figure but they could spend as much money as they want. And the fifth category is for the financially tight student. As I said, the flat here, the students who live in the flat generally pay less amount. The landlords charge them less fees and moreover it depends upon the area, the rent depends upon the area and you can find some flats where, where you could just pay £250 and you could stay there for a month. Moreover, if you're staying like two students in the same room, you could easily split the monthly rent between two of you and take down the figure of £250. Now moving on to the second category, which is a food and household grocery. So for the lucky student, he's the one who's staying with his relatives or families in the UK. So he don't have to pay any money for food or household grocery. So everything is done by the parents or the relatives. Now moving on to the middle class parent. So such students, the monthly expenses for them for the food is about £250. This will involve if you buy the food in bulk, like once in a week and eventually four times in a month. Moreover, this figure have included all the detergents, all the basic amenities such as toilet tools and all the kitchen amenities you need, you will get you will get very good amenities at such a price. The 250 pound would be a good figure to go with. 
for the upper middle class background, I have included a figure of 450 pounds as uh, they would be the one who would be going outside, having some food in the restaurants, having like moreover having some hangouts with their friends, drinking, drinking alcohol as well. I have included the alcohol price in this figure as well. So for the rich background student, they are the one they don't have any fun. They don't have like a tight budget, so they could spend as much money as they want. So I have put a figure of 550 pounds for them. And then for a financially tight student, it is still manageable to stay at a price of 150 pound if you manage your expenses really really well and you could still survive for 150 pound if you spend that much money on your food, that would be still okay. So moving on to our third category which is the transportation. So for the lucky student, he's the one who's staying with his relative, so the family would be dropping him to the university so the figure is just zero point for them for the middle class background so most of the students here travel to their universities through buses or through trains or through ferries so monthly pass average monthly pass price would be 50 pound so i have included a price of 50 pound here for upper middle class background and same is for upper middle class background and same would be for financially tight student as well but for the rich background, I have assumed that they have got a car. So for the car, I have included the price of the fuel and the gas which would be involved. And I have taken that figure to £100. So moving on to our fourth category, which are all your other expenses or like small expenses which you do here and there by buying some clothes or mobile plans and stuff like that. So for a lucky student, I have included a price of £150 for this. For upper middle class background, I have included 50 pound. 50 pound, for example, if you have got some lab classes in your course, so you would be purchasing some lab codes or calculators, or you would be having mobile plans. So I've put a figure of 50 pound. For upper middle class background, I've put this figure of 100 pound, and for rich background, a figure of 200 pound. These figures are a bit more higher because I've included the clothes. The things they would be buying would be a bit expensive. And for the financially tight student, I would still say that £20 is still okay. You could still survive to manage with £20 as well. So let's do the total of all these categories. What would be the monthly average expense now? So here you go. For the lucky student, the figure is £150. That's quite cheap. They are still lucky having everything with the relatives, everything is done by them. <laughs> So they don't have to worry about anything here. Then for the middle class background, I think this is the category where most of the students will be belonging in. And I would really say you that for a figure of 750 pound, it is very easily manageable to stay in United Kingdom. You would be having a good life. You would be enjoying your university life and moreover engaging with your friends and everything would be good for this price here, 750 pound. And then for the upper middle class background, the figure goes to £1,200. Like if you're looking for some more facilities, as I said, in the accommodation, the figure would be a bit higher. So £1,200 for them. For the rich background student, the price is about £1,750. Then finally, for the financially tight students, I would really say you that it is still manageable to stay at a price of £470 here in the UK. Like I know that in this stuff, you would be a bit tight. That's why I have categorize the name of this as financially tight because you've got a very fixed monthly budget in this case so it is still manageable to stay at 470 pound so i hope you've got a bit of quick glimpse as what are the monthly average expenses here in united kingdom so if you've got any doubt related to any of the figures which i have presented or you need some more information i would really recommend you to comment down below this video if you have got any doubts or any concerns regarding this video so if you want some more updates regarding student life the monthly expenses accommodation prices and any more information please do subscribe to my channel as this really motivates me to make new videos for you and create some innovative ideas for you guys thank you very much and have a lovely day cheers